Hi all, uh, Jamie here in Grass Tech. I'm with uh, colleagues Liam Barton and Pat Carroll here. So we're just going to do a brief video of what we saw this week or what is hot on the livestock trade. So Pat, we'll start with you. What did you see this week that... Yeah, so two groups I saw, Jamie. One was an autumn calving uh, group of cows. Um, these are September, October calving. Cow, nice cows, kind of, I suppose, typical Irish region type cow, uh, capable of anywhere between six to 8,000 litres. Um, also saw a large group of um, in-calf heifers. Um, a full amount of heifers being sold out of the farm there. Um, so some very, very good figures. I mean, and I suppose looking at the stock this week, Jamie, all animals in great condition. Um, there saw so two very good groups I saw this week, yeah. Very good. Have you anything in the UK side of things? Yeah, so our colleague Matthew Beeston, I suppose, has a very good group of, again, springing calf heifers. Um, there's 120 of them in the group. They are mostly, I suppose, Irish genetics behind them. Um, there would be some Jersey crosses in it, but a lot of them have Irish genetics in the background as well. So, um, again, a grazing type animal that are, for, I suppose, driven for fertility, solids and uh, longevity as well. We'll go over to Liam Barton there now. Liam, what did you view this week? Yeah, so I view as a group of spring, spring calf and crossbred, three-way cross in calf heifers. These animals are fully genotyped, coming from a fully milk corded herd, delivering probably top 5% in the country on fat, protein, milk price and production. Uh, all these heifers have been scanned with 60% of the group in calf to sex semen and with the remainder in calf to Angus Stockwell. Um, they were probably the best group I viewed there this week. On the calves, so I viewed a group of 35 springborn calves. Um, average GBI of the group was 235. Um, fully closed herd, good TB status with full vaccination protocol on farm, along with UNA screening. Uh, these animals can be export tested for the UK market. And for my third group, I viewed a group of February and March calving um, British region cross Holstein type animal. You're, you're working at 575, 80 kilo, black and white. Has the increase and no Jersey blood in the background. Again, scanned in calf for February to AI conventional semen and mopped up with an Angus Stockwell. Very good, Liam. No, and just for myself, um, I looked at a group of 25 in calf heifers that the farmer is selling 10 out of. He has um, he's given you a choice of the 25 with an average GBI the group at 205. So all AI sired animals with 4.3 fat and 3.67 protein the average for last year and he's achieving over 500 kgs of mink solids. The heifers themselves have been scanned in calf and are um, scanned to a Frisian, or they were bred with a, a Frisian and an Angus stock bull. The final group I'm going to talk about is a herd cell I have. So there are 61 cows in this herd cell. Um, the cows themselves are a well-balanced, robust cow and they're a classified herd with um, VGs and XEs throughout the herd. Um, there's good depth in the ribs and these cows have great o good odour and baination throughout the other. There is families of Delta, Granite and Ballytosic Andrew also. That's us from myself, Pat and Liam. Thanks for listening and if you have any uh, inquiries, don't be, please feel free to contact us. Thanks very much.